Good afternoon, I'm Carl Ross of the University of Portsmouth of the United Kingdom and uh, today I'm going to show you how to do a finite element analysis on a smartphone. The smartphone I've got is a Google Motorola Moto G. It costs just under £100, pay as you go, from my local superstore. The first thing, get on there. I'm using DOS Box Turbo, so I'm using, I'm using DOS programs. So I've done that. Now I've got the DOS Box there. You can see there's a C prompt there. So I take this to get a to get a keyboard. And now I'm going to type the program in. It's going to be a Beams program. It's a continuous beam. B E A M S dot e x mistake there e x e press play there you are it says have you read the book that is this book finite element programs and structure and continuous mechanics written by Carl T F Ross and it's uh, been published by Woodhead Publishers of Cambridge so I that Y R N so I type why I have read it it says type the number of elements and I'll put in three elements. Return. Type in the number of nodes with with uh, with zero displacements. So that's two of them. One at the left end. And one at the right end. Type the number of nodes with type in the number of nodes with concentrated loads. So I'll put one concentrated load, put that in there. Type the number of, type the nodal position with zero displacements. So I'll type in one, press return. Is the vertical displacement zero? Yes. Rotational displacement? No. Type the node number with nodal position two, which is node three. Put that in, press return. Nodal vertical displacement zero? Yes. Rotational displacement zero. No, you can make it zero if you uh, if you want to fix it at an end. Satisfied with the data? Type in the angle modulus. Well, I only put in a thousand here. I won't put in the actual value because it's only demonstration. It's a hydrostatic load. That means a, a, a hydrostatic load, and I'm not putting hydrostatic load, so type in zero. You satisfied with the data? Yeah. Type in the node number the cont of the concentrated loads, I'm putting in 2 at node 2, return, and then I type in the nodal position, the vertical load, and I'm putting in minus, minus 10 kilonewtons, which is acting downwards. Is there a couple? Yeah, there's a couple. Rotation clockwise, so I put in a couple of 5 kilonewton meters. Satisfied, yeah? And it then prints out what I've typed in to check it. So I type Y to continue. Type Y to continue. Type Y to continue. Type Y to continue. It now says the segment of area. So I'm just going to put point 0.1 there. Type in the elemental length. Well, the first element is 1 meter. Type in the distributed load. I'm going to put a load of minus 2 kilonewtons per meter on element 1 press that, satisfied with that? yes I'm satisfied and now prints out what I've typed in to make sure it's correct I type Y to continue type in the second moment variable for element 2 so I'm going to put in uh, 0.1 return type the elemental length of element 2 so I'm going to put one return type in the distributed load I put minus two kilonewton meters because it's downwards if you're satisfied with that press Y so I'm satisfied with that again it prints out what I've typed in so I could check it so type Y type in the second one relevant three I'm gonna put in point point two make it twice as big return the elemental length 
I'm going to make that two meters, right? The distributed load, I'm going to put minus four, minus four kilometers returned, satisfied. And then types up what I've typed it to make sure it's correct. So I type Y if I'm satisfied. The nodal coordinates are given below. Now the node number and the node displacement has already done it. The node number, the node displacement, zero displacement at the left end and the right end, displacement at node two. So I'm satisfied with that. Plus Y, it then gives the bending moment at node one, which is zero, and the bending moment at node two, which is 0.4999, which is effectively 0 0.5. That's there, I'm satisfied with that. And the bending moment at node three, the, the other side of it is 7.999, which is eight, and that's because we've got a couple there of five. So it goes up, uh, goes up a bit, continue. And the bending moment at node four, which is zero. Continue, I'm satisfied. Reaction 0.5 at node one. Reaction zero at node two, because node two has another support. 21.5 reaction at node three. Press yes, I'm satisfied. Node four, the reaction is zero because it's simply supported. Continue that Y, and there you are. It's plotted, the bending moment and showing force diagrams. Now this is a simple beam, I'm going to do a continuous beam and gas ray, several, several different types of, of uh, supports. I've also done the vibration of a rigid jointed space frame with 124 elements. And it only took five minutes combinational time. And uh, I had a four dimensional problem. When I solved this problem in the late 70s on a computer which cost University 800,000 pounds, it took an hour to do it. I reckon the day will come when you'll be able to do use ANSYS on uh, smartphones. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.